almost game time. What do you mean she hates him? There you go. Like she tries to take it off or what? <laughs> I don't want this on, Dad. You gonna watch the game with Dad? Rose, what do we do in the flyer score? Do we cheer? Wee! She's like, my show's on, Dad. I don't care. She totally does try and take it off. <laughs> Leave that on, honey. It looks good. Yeah, you do not like that. Hey. What did you do to your jersey? Hey, did someone beat you up? Jersey yet? <laughs> Rose. <laughs> hey, that much more comfortable. Good morning, guys. It is the next day after my last vlog. Today's agenda. Uh, as you saw, Steve is going to take care of Rosal probably all day today. I am going to quickly get ready here and I am going to head to Chapters, which was on my to-do list yesterday and I never did get to it. Oh, by the way, I should mention that uh, this is a vlog style video. <laughs> if you guys haven't watched my vlogs before, they're just definitely like more real life, more personal stuff mixed into it, uh, that sort of thing. I was watching a YouTube video from Kara somebody, I don't even know who, what her name is. Uh, if you guys want, I'll post it in the description box below. But it was about this thing that she does year or daily to kind of keep track of her life. It's like a daily, daily sense journal. And basically she just writes like at the top of the page, she'll write the month. So if it's January and then below the left hand side of the notebook, she'll just put like day one and something that happened on day one or something she was feeling on day one or whatever, just keeping track of like, and it's usually just one or two sentences, just something really quick. And when I saw her video on that, I was like, that is exactly what I want to do. I had been looking for a way to journal each day that was like quick and easy, wasn't decorative, like it wasn't like a full page of journaling, it wasn't like all my thoughts and opinions on the day, it was just something quick, like you know, Rose took her first steps today or something like that, like just something super quick. I've been pondering for the last few days as to what sort of journal I want for it and all you really need is a notebook, which is great. The palette that I'm going to use today is my new ColourPop Semi-Precious palette. I got this at the same time as that Chocolate Gold palette, but it's very similar in the sense that it's got some really pretty metallic tones. And this palette was on sale for like 20 bucks on Sephora, so I jumped all over it because I had heard a few people kind of talk about this palette. I'm going to keep getting ready, so in three, two, ta-da! Okay, face of the day. ColourPop Semi-Precious palette. OMG! OMG, do I love this. Uh, if you were trying to decide between which palettes to get, the Chocolate Gold or the Semi Precious, very similar like finishes, I guess. Like As you guys can see, it's very metallic. And then the Too Faced Chocolate Gold, also very metallic colors. The payoff, like color payoff from the ColourPop ones is way more intense. And this one's cheaper. I would, if I were you, I would pick up this palette. If you only wanted to get one, get the ColourPop one. I think it was limited edition, so hopefully it's still available. And then my lips today, I am using Lip Sense because I have a busy day and I want it to last all day. So the Lip Sense color is called Dawn Rising, and it is this like gorgeous nude type of color with a little bit of shimmer in it. I might see if Rose wants to come shopping with me and give Daddy a break, because he's been watching her all weekend. This one, which is nice because it's already kind of dated. I just want to look at the ring bound ones first. These notebooks are my favorite, and I have seen that you can get different ones like dot grid, and they do have some line ones too. And I see that they have a copper one now that kind of looks like rose gold, but they do have giant ones on the bottom there. So I'm trying to decide if I want one of those, or these are the other contenders. There's this one, which I like because I could put like little notes or cards or something for the year in it, but it's really small. And there's this one, which I like because it's coil and it's bigger. Like I think I could get a full months in one page for that one that I just showed you guys. Those are the three that I'm trying for. I'm trying to decide between. I used to journal in this style too. They're like hardcover books, but I just found that they didn't lay super flat. Like it was hard to write over here. 
but they're super good quality too, so oh, it's a hard decision. So I decided on this notebook. I liked this one because it was hardcover, and I really liked the line spacing of this one, and I liked the paper quality. <laughs> Picky, picky, I know. Uh, I really liked the one that said daily thoughts on it because it pertained to what I wanted to use this for, but I didn't like that the cover was so flimsy. That is what got me on it. My kit life planner that I've been using lately has a flimsy cover and that's my only complaint about it is I wish it had more of like a sturdy hard cover like this one. So a Cosmo Prof haul. I'm here for shampoos and stuff. So I wanted to just get a new dry shampoo. So I'm trying this one. Every single like really good quality of dry shampoo that I've tried, I don't like, so hopefully I'll like that one. Uh, I also picked up this, like a travel pack of shampoo, conditioner, hairspray, and there's like a, a hair primer as well. For my trip coming up soon, I know I don't have shampoo and conditioner, so I wanted to get like a good brand for shampoo and conditioner. I also picked up some of these like hair elastic things, plastic hair elastic things. I've seen these all over and I've been really interested to try them. I also picked up Two more combs. I love these combs and I noticed downstairs in my vanity that I don't have one. I'm not too sure where it happened to it. And then the shampoo that I've been using lately is this one. And it is a color preserving shampoo and conditioner and that set at Cosmoprof for like the one liter is 20 bucks. So that's a pretty darn good deal. Really like it. It was funny because the first time that I used it, Steve was like, hey, your hair smells really good. And it does, it's a nice shampoo and it smells really good. So it is 12.40 and my client will be at my house at one. So I just need to head home here, do her nails, do my second client's nails, and then hopefully we can get some serious packing in the nail studio done today. So I know so far this vlog has not been much nail related, but it will be soon, I promise it will be. So I have about 10 minutes to tidy up the nail studio so that it's presentable for my client. Upstairs. Oh, no, she's going to the back. Okay, don't need that. Is it milk time, Rose? Milk time. Oh, here, you hold it yourself. Mm. <laughs> You're so cute. It's a great cell phone. Don't get sticky hands all over. <laughs> what do you think, Rose? Okay, go with Dad. <laughs> going upstairs? See you guys. My client just came back in with her little crystal pixie snowman. And he's still like mostly intact. You lost a little bit of the hat on this guy. This guy's pretty good, hey? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so now we have to figure out how to get it off. But I think it's a soak off gel. So I think I'm just gonna try and soak it off and then nip it. Okay, that didn't work too bad at all. Yeah. I always kind of wondered that and also pricing for um, yeah, crystal pixies because you, you can't price them singly. Okay, wear goggles <laughs> when you're doing this. Um, yeah, and they're pretty expensive. I should almost give you goggles too when I'm doing this. <laughs> I'm so glad it held though because the first time I did pixie, she lost them like right away. Oh jeez, no, it held so good. I was paranoid for like the first week. Yeah, and then I just went on as usual. Oh good. Love your bracelet. Ah, oh, thank you. What is that? It's Swarovski bracelet. <gasps> that is beautiful. Gave it to me for Christmas. Uh, see, I have a hard time wearing um, nice jewelry, like besides like gold and silver, because mm -hmm. I get rashes. Oh no. So because that being like beads, I bet I wouldn't have problems mm -hmm. with it. Yeah. That is beautiful. Really. All the Swarovski crystal lovers will appreciate this. Mm -hmm. Look at that. And it's almost like a rose gold. This is yeah. light rose, I would think. I think that's what that crystal color would be. Oh, I love it. Hey guys, it's like 8.40. <laughs> if you've watched any of my vlog videos on my second channel, you know I'm like the worst procrastinator. I have just not been like hustling today like I usually do. 
I'm gonna start packing the nail studio. I'm just trying to decide if I want to go pour myself a glass of wine or not. I feel like wine is a packing essential. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go get some wine. So I have my glass of wine all poured. And another thing that I wanted to say to you guys, I changed my lip color. I put on Bella from Lip Sense. I was wearing that nude one all day and it worked fine. It's just that I forgot to bring my gloss downstairs when I was working and it started to dry out and it just really annoyed me. So I ended up taking it out. These little hair elastics are awesome. I was using it earlier today. And the nice thing about these, like what's different about these is it doesn't kink your hair. So after I was done working for like the three hours, I had it in and it didn't kink my hair at all. For me, that's awesome because sometimes my hair drives me nuts when I'm doing like mom life things. Then after Rose goes to sleep, I want to film and I can't, because, well, not that I can't, but I don't want to take the time to straighten my hair. I don't personally like my hair up. So anyway, these elastics work really well. I'm excited about them. I might have to get some more of these because I'm sure I'll lose those four of them. Rose thought they were a teething toy, but okay, enough procrastinating, <laughs> time to pack. And I just want to preface this by saying that I am not a professional packer, so I'm probably going to do things wrong. <laughs> That's okay, I've packed tons of nail studios and everything's turned out fine. So, <laughs> any hoozles. Uh, what I'm going to pack up and what I'm not going to pack up, I'm not going to pack up any of my jelly fits because I use jelly fit a lot to do my own nails and I want to make sure that I have them out in case I need to do my own nails or if I have clients that pick those colors. All of my other gel polishes I am going to pack up because I'm all caught up on my swatch videos for those. I'm also going to leave out all of my loose glitters because I don't know what I'll need. All of my clear jelly stamper products. So in the drawers here I have all of my hard gels. I'm definitely leaving all of my light elegance out. I think I might pack everything else up. The reason that I'm packing some things up and not other things is that I still have, I added it up today, I still have 12 clients possibly my own nails to do before I move. So I need to leave some options out for them. But at the same time, the majority of my clients let me pick what I wanna do on them. So if I like pack up some things and they pick a color that I don't have out and it's packed up already, they're pretty flexible in what I use. I have the most light elegance gels out of any of the other brands that I carry. So I think that that would be a good brand to just keep in my drawers. Plus they're my favorite to use with the exception of my En Vogue Rose Gold because that's my favorite Rose Gold right now. This is gonna be tough, you guys. But first wine. First thing I'm gonna pack up is my brushes. A lot of these brushes are, I guess, just brushes that I don't reach for on a regular basis. So I'm gonna pack my brushes in a Ziploc bag. <laughs> I did this when I moved last time and it seemed to work well. Those are all ready to go to the new nail studio. When I moved last time, we actually stopped at the liquor store and that's where we got most of my boxes from. So we did that again this year because these are really good size boxes for like a nail studio, small stuff. You don't wanna be putting too much stuff in one box because it can actually get kind of heavy. Some nail products are quite heavy. So when I was putting these brushes in here, I kept all the heads this way and all the bases this way. So I can actually stand it up in the box and it'll be okay. It'll be nice and protected and I won't have to worry about like the brush heads getting damaged or anything. So this drawer is where I keep all of my painting stuff. So I'm gonna throw my painting stuff in with this box. So all my painting stuff is together. I haven't even used these. When I got pregnant with Rose, I went through this like huge watercolor kick for some reason. I don't know what it was about. But I got really into wanting to learn how to watercolor paint like on cards or like pictures or paintings or something. And so I invested in like a ton of watercolor paints and that was short lived because I eventually like just grew sick of it. Now I don't like at all care for watercolor painting, but I, all the paints that I bought to do like home projects with, I brought down to the nail studio. So that's what a lot of these are. I also am like huge on using Ziploc bags for packing. I'm not really too sure. I just feel like they, I don't know, they hold things really well. That way nothing bangs together and it still keeps like like items with like items. These are really good high quality acrylic paints though. I these little things my mom and I got from like a farmer's market or like a trade show. And they're really cool like in their time uh, because they have like really, really fine heads for writing on them. I seriously have hardly used these. 
I used the black and the white one for like trying to write names on people's nails. They worked really well for that. I think I'm just gonna keep the black and white one. These are watercolor pencils. I got these in a workshop that I took. Uh, these are really cool actually. I haven't used them like since that workshop, but they're really neat to watercolor paint with. These straws I've used on my clients before to like blow blood splatters on their nails. I'm definitely keeping those. These paints are just from the craft store. Uh, I got them because these ones here, when I used to do a lot of like leopard print nails and stuff, but these ones, I'm just gonna get rid of because I never use them. I do have a color wheel. This is a watercolor painting set that I got from Michaels, but it's got like a pearl finish to it. It's actually really cool. I featured it in a favorites video once. I keep up with my channel regularly, like since the beginning, you would have seen that. It was like an old favorites video. I totally have one bowl already, so I am going to pack up these bowls for it. I need to go find some paper though. These are 3D gel paints, which you can do some pretty cool, thing, cool things with. Kind of remind me of the Wildflowers Puppy Gels. I brought some of these in to do like 3D gel nail art, and I seriously have hardly used them. <laughs> that is my 3D drawer. This is my glitter drawer. So this is a whole bunch of loose glitter that I have gotten from like eBay nail supply stores. It's just like seriously crazy. And it's all organized by colors. So I do not want to lose the color family. So I'm going to, when I organize them, I'm going to put them in bags based on color. Okay, and I actually just took pictures of how I organize this because I do think once I go to organize it in the new nail studio, I'll probably forget how I did this. These are some heart glitters. I can't even remember where I got these from. The reason they're not organized in the color family is because these lids like come right off. Okay, this is my 3D drawer. I don't reach for 3D objects very much. When I move to the new nail studio, I'm gonna get away from these like tackle box systems. I bought a different system from Counter to Nail Supplies that I think will work a lot better than these. And at that time, I will go through these and I will purge these, but those are all packed away already. So. I can't even do that right now. So I'm just gonna pack them in the box, do that at the new nail studio. And in this box, I'm actually going to throw in my Athena Rocks. Athena, Athena Rocks, I don't know how to say it. So if you don't know the story behind this, that would mean that you're not following my vlog channel or my Insta stories. I'm pretty sure that I chatted about it at this on my Insta stories. So made an order with Athena, Athena, I'm not sure how you say her name, Rocks years ago and what they are is they are like little 3d embellishments that are shaped like seashells and they have some like shell pieces and these are real real shells okay, i placed an order and i for the life of me could not find this order after i had unboxed it i think i was moving into this space at the time when this order came in and i was like oh i'll just pack it up and then unpack it at the new nail studio right so when I get here, I cannot for the life of me find this. No idea where it is, no idea where I put it. So when I was packing up this studio to move to my new house, I came across this in a Michaels bag that was full of like a whole bunch of stuff I had bought as like background props for my pictures. So anyway, I was like jumping for joy when I found these because these are the coolest thing. Let me see if I can get you a package really close here for you to see. Okay, so this is what they look like. And like I said, they're just tiny, tiny 3D shells. I put these on my client for vacation nails. They wore so well, and when I went to file them off, they're the strangest thing inside. Like, these are so weird when you file them. They're actual little tiny mini shells. I got a whole ton of them for vacation nails. They worked amazing for that client. If I ever do vacation nails again where a client wants these, I 100% will film it for you guys. These are the coolest things, and I'm so glad I found them back in my stock. I do want to put those in a 3D box because I will be putting these in those that new 3D system I have when we unpack. If you guys are wondering why I'm packing everything like, like items together, it'll just make it happen a lot easier when I go to unpack if everything is together and not kind of thrown about. And also when I actually pack up these bags, like tape them up and label them, I will label them with what's inside of them. That way I know what box to grab for what drawer that I'm like working on when I unpack it. So I also have a box of glitters here. 
from the nail team. This is Gemma Lambert's business. I can't remember if I've shared this on this channel. I think I showed it on my blog channel. Seriously, you guys, if you don't keep up with my blog channel, if you like these style of videos, uh, you should because they usually get sneak peeks of videos that are coming up or products that I have gotten in or video ideas or anything like that. So definitely subscribe to that channel if you don't and you like this style of videos. There's a whole ton of glitters in here. I want to do a video on this. I have not had time to do it. When I move, I will 100% get a video up on this because I think her glitters are awesome. She's got some really fun mixes. And the nice thing about her glitters is they're really, really small sizes. So if you, I think it'd be easier for you to get a whole bunch of them with these smaller sizes. Anyway, I just wanted to show those to you guys. Hopefully I will have some time after the move to get an actual video filmed on these, but I'm gonna try and find somewhere for these to go in these boxes here. I still have some room in this box that I'd started not too long ago. So I think I'm gonna start throwing some of my, like my pigments and stuff from Light Elegance in here. I'm gonna keep all the brands together though. Light Elegance had so many pigments. That's quite a few pigments that they have. Does anybody else who's like packed up stuff like hate these freaking things? I seriously suck with them. This is a gorgeous glitter. This is from Elite Beauty Supplies. It is the Aurora Borealis glitter. OMG, it is so pretty. I actually, you guys are gonna probably hear this a lot, but I forgot I had this. So I definitely need to use this on one of my clients. I'm gonna move on to all my ugly duckling. On my shelf, they are in numerical order. So I am just gonna keep doing that on here. I was actually thinking with my ugly duckling, they look so good on a shelf, but they look so good with their colors all lined up like this. These might end up going in a drawer in the new studio, actually. I'm really liking how these are looking like this. I'm shocked. I think I might be able to get all of them in here. This is crazy. No! I'm three short, you guys. It's like a perfectly packed box though. These are awesome. So any sort of wildflowers products that I have, I'm putting them in a different location because when I get to my new nail studio, I wanna film a video on a whole ton of wildflowers products. You guys, I was just about going to pack up my Penny Talk from Essie, which is like my favorite rose gold stamping. I also love Good as Gold. I'm leaving those out. These models own stamping polishes. I have, I think, two videos up on. These are really good stamping polishes for like metallic stamping. I seriously just reach for my CJS ones like all the time, but the way that these were positioned in my studio, so they're over on this rack here where I sit over here, ignore me, it's a giant mess. Um, I don't see them. So I seriously forget that I, I have them there. So definitely in the new studio, they will be put somewhere where I can see them and hopefully get some better use out of them. So my Sally Hansen Insta Dries. These are a great stamping polish. Uh, they're very easily accessible. You can just get them from the drugstore. Uh, they're fairly reasonably priced too. I think you pay like five bucks each for them or something. I'm not sure how much they are. Um, they're great stamping polishes though. I just reach for my CJS a lot more. So I am not keeping many of them, but some of the colors CJS doesn't have, or I just like to use like this one. This is Lickety Split Lime, and it is a gorgeous lime green. I use this a lot for stamping leaves on floral nails. I'm keeping that one, and there's a couple others in here that I think are limited edition. I'm not sure if you can even get that one anymore. Alcohol inks are pretty darn cool. You can use these very similar to how you use Sharpies, where you like paint the image on and then you spray them. This is just like doing the work for you. You don't have to use the alcohol. Well, you do use it, but they just bleed a little bit different than Sharpies. I use these a lot, a lot, a lot in my nail studio. I, I definitely do not want to be without these. Alcohol inks you just get from scrapbooking places or Michaels. Most of these I've gotten from Michaels. Some of them I've gotten from a local scrapbooking place. There was like a pink one that I found at a local scrapbooking place. And if you guys want to see how to use these, my Halloween nails, I use these a ton at Halloween. Okay, in my packing kit here, I've decided to pack up all my Canada nail supplies glitters. 
I seriously can do without them for a few weeks. It'll be a little bit heartbreaking, but it'll be okay. I will just keep my Glitter Heaven ones out and just use those on my clients. Okay, so I used to be a, a huge like avid Michaels glitter user on my clients. And I still keep them because they're great for if you want to do like pink glitters on your client, like nothing that's a mix. I don't even know if Michael sell the, sells these anymore. I've looked a few times when I've been in there. But anyway, I used to have these all displayed and then I just liked the idea of having my gel polishes and like my glitter having glitters out. So I put them in this drawer. In this drawer, I like never reach for them. I also have all of my foils which is something that again, I don't reach for very much. So I definitely need to find a better organization system for this in the new studio. I will have to think on that. I've got a few weeks to kind of figure that out, but I'm gonna pack these up and I think I'll be able to get them all in that box. I'm about done with this. <laughs> I'm getting tired. I think that I can easily go to bed. It is 11.15, so I've been giving it a decent okay try at the whole packing thing. I definitely didn't pack up as much as I wanted to, but I did pretty good on my polish racks. That's where I spent most of my time in some of the art drawers, but I'm done. I'm done. So I'm going to end the vlog. If you enjoyed this sort of packing video, I'm going to continue the rest of it on my second channel just because I'll probably end up throwing some other content that's like way more related to my personal life in it. And I don't want to feel like I have to film this <laughs> or if I get too busy, I might just end up like just sitting down one night and just packing without even filming it. So definitely make sure you subscribe to my personal channel if you're interested in these type of videos. Okay, I'm done, I'm so tired. I'm ending it now. I move in three weeks, but I have to have this done in two. So wish me luck, guys. Make sure you're following me on all my social media and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.